Hey, what's up, everybody? It's, your Curtis, it's your boy Curtis from Race Set Go Long Kill. Hope y'all having a good day. A good day, my boys. My day was kind of crazy today. So, I told y'all I'm going to start uploading more. Um, I'm going to start trying to upload more, more videos of me working. Um, I'm just not used to it, man. Just getting the camera, moving around, I move my phone around and all that. I don't know. I just be trying to get my work done and get up out of me. That's just me, though. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to try to do this more while I'm not too busy right now. It's my slow week. Um. So, today started off rough today. I wake up like 2 in the morning. Somebody hacked my bank account. Yep. My main account. <laughs> Somebody hacked my main account. They spending money. They up here. They did, they did double door dash about four or five, six times in a row. I'm like, why am I missing all these hundreds of dollars out of my account? So I had to handle that this morning. Somebody got in my account this morning, hacked me. Then, then I'm getting up. Um, everything was fine. Getting, um, getting everything together this morning. It was all good. Um, ain't had no problems. Um, with my first two clients, I only had four clients today. One of my first two clients, <clears throat> I go to go to my third client, and I text him like, "Hey, I'm on the way." Now this lady, I only had cut the grass one time. That was a week for last, my first time cutting for her. And so uh, once I get that first time cut, unless it's a one off, I'm coming back two weeks later, bi weekly, because most people down here do bi weekly, uh, which this year. Some people have to go weekly this year because some people grass go really fast in June and July. Um, they have to find somebody else. I don't know, but I can't be doing that. But anyway, I stay on the subject. Um, so yeah, I text the lady, um, Miss Anna. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, okay, I text Miss Anna, and I'm on the way. Um, I like to do that sometimes, especially with new customers, so they get used to me. I will text them, and um, she takes me back, and she's like, oh. I thought you, um, my grass needed to be cut. And I said, okay. And then I typed, well, you know, I run my business off a of schedule. You know, I have to stick to the schedule. And, you know, you was on my schedule today. And then she typed back, oh, I thought the first cut was 75 And then after that, it was $50. And I said, yes, ma'am. The first cut I cut was $75. And after that, it's $50 bi-weekly for you for this area. And she was like, well, I thought you said... That, uh, I can just call you when I want you to come. I say, no, ma'am. I say, ma'am, I, I run for schedule. I do, I do not. There's no way. Listen, if somebody just can call you and come, you are a chuck. I'm going to tell you that right now. You ain't got no LLC. You ain't got no insurance. Oh, um, hey, I ain't got a commercial lawyer yet, but I know you damn sure don't. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if you wouldn't let somebody just call you, if you just come whenever, you have no business. Your clients running your business. And my clients ain't gonna run my business. I love them. We can have a little partnership, but they're not gonna run my business. So this lady, uh, so she so she was like, Yeah, um, I thought I'd better call you. And so I'm like, uh, no ma'am, I, I said to the schedule. So she didn't reply, so I, so I sent another text. I said, Well, you know, my service is probably not right for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you probably could do better finding services with, with, with some other company. So basically, I'm firing her at this point. I'm like, well, I'm not coming no more. When, when she had told me that she didn't want to cut today, in my head, I was like, yeah, that's dead. You know what I'm saying? That's dead for me. Like, if you ain't want your guy to cut today, then you got to find somebody to cut your stuff. Because I can get other people on here. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, my clientele will get up. I eventually, you know what I'm saying? I'll get the clientele I want. It's slow, but it'll come along eventually. I'm just going to keep pounding. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to take nothing from a, from a client trying to run my business. So, so I tell, I'm texting her, basically firing her, like, well, uh, my my services are probably not right for you. You probably should find somebody else who do, who does that because I don't do bi weekly or weekly. And um and I said and and um, I didn't say it to her, but I have one guy that I do cut once a month, but he's a veteran. Um, everybody else is bi weekly or weekly. I don't I don't I don't do nothing else. I do one off. I also do one offs. Um, but hers wasn't the one off. It was supposed to be I cut it. See you in two weeks. And grass are be growing down here. Listen, even though I may come back in two weeks and your grass don't seem high, that week that you tell me not to cut, by the next week, it's high as hell. And I'm not even coming that week. 
I'm coming a week after that. And just imagine how, how it is then. No, no, you're not about to work me to death. No, 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 no. We might be doing that. You're only paying me $50. You're not paying me $70 to cut your grass. No. So, she proceeds to say, oh, well, oh, oh well, I don't think I need your service anymore. Try to fire me. Ma'am, you're already fired. I told you you need somebody else's service. You can't fire me once you're already fired. People are ridiculous. It, 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 this had me laughing all day. I had to tell my wife about this. I said, you know, I fired this lady because I told her I, I don't do that. You call me, you call and I show up. I'm, I'm, I'm not Chuck. And she's gonna tell me that I'm, uh, that she will need that uh, she won't be need my services anymore. I already told you you ain't gonna need my services. I already fired you. You can't fire somebody but they fire you already. I'm so mad because I meant to send the text message but block her name and number out and show it to y'all. Oh my god, it was so funny because you'd be like, "Ma'am, he already said you're not cutting your grass business no more. Why are you telling him that you want to cut your grass anymore?" But I guess for her ego's sake, she felt good doing that. So whatever, man, you can have it. I don't care. I made it a little seventy five. I love you. Your property was super easy. I was in and out like 25 minutes for $75. I'm good. I'm good. Just as look like this just as I lost you, God will provide somebody else. And that's not me being like, you know what I'm saying, with a big head. I just know God will provide somebody else to me. You know what I'm saying? That I really would appreciate my service and willing to work with my company, not try to run it and be like, oh, well, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna call you. No, 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 no. And she tried to say that. Well, you said, and I'm like, ma'am. And instead of me accusing her of lying, this is when you're, yeah, I'm learning. You have to be very professional how you handle these things. I said, well, ma'am, I probably misspoken. Even though I know I did. I know I didn't tell her that. I know I didn't tell her that. But I just said, even though I made misspoken, so I took the hit. Oh, yeah, it's my fault then. You know what I'm saying? But my services ain't good for you. It ain't going to be like, oh, my fault. Well, I come back next week. Mr. Anna, hell no. Nah. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, it's my fault, but I ain't cutting your grass no more, though. That's it. You dead. And I got about five clients. I want a little Eric. I got two on that same street. So she going to see me all the time. I'm going to see her and Chuck, and she going to see me. I'm, well, I probably see Chuck about three times this, this, this summer. I guarantee you, she will let Chuck cut her grass once a month. I guarantee that man about to cut once a month and be slaving for $40. Slaving for $30. Ma'am, Ms. Anna, you ain't slaving me. I'm not saving for nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I'm not about to become a struggling cut your grass once a month for no fifty dollars. You are. I tell you what. I come cut it once a month for forty five dollars. That don't even sound right because I don't even like going below. I, I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what, man. You give me ninety five dollars. I save you five hours. That's basically fifty and forty five cut. <laughs> I'm just being funny, man. But it was just funny. It was just funny, man. She told. I don't, well, I don't think I need your services. I already told you you need my services. What are you talking about? Man, listen, man. Quiet's funny as hell, man. Well, one thing about it, you ain't about to run me. Because like I keep saying from day one, if any client think they're going to run this business, ready, set, go, LLC, well, they can, uh, I will sell this business, sell all this equipment, and I'll go back and retire and play video games again. I love doing this, but before I let clients run this business, it will go into the ground first. I refuse. I'm going to go down swinging. I'm going to tell you that. We're going to go down swinging. Because ain't nobody, nah, no. I done been through too much. I done got ripped off, scammed, not paid, disrespected, cursed out, racism. I done took it all in the last three years with this right here. I done took all that. To let somebody come run my company. I refuse. No sir, Bob. It will not happen. And y'all should let nobody run you either. If you have a company, don't let clients run you. Don't let clients run your company. You won't have one. I'd rather run my own company in the ground than let you run in the ground. Tell them so I'm going to come cut once a month. Dulling my blade like crazy. Running my machines harder than they got to run. I'm fighting harder. And this imagine when they get hot in June, July. It's 105 out there. Don't fight your yard one time a month for 50 dollars. Man, listen. I'm glad I watch a lot of long kick guys and I learned a lot of stuff really fast. Cause man, some of you guys out here are man, I'm telling you, these chucks, man. That's what's making it hard. And all these guys out here getting these. Cause that's what it's easy to finance a lawnmower. Very easy. You ain't gotta have no credit. You probably have a 500 credit, get a lawnmower. Today they, they, they listen. 
They advertise all the time. You can have a full 500 credit and they will give you a lawnmower. And these guys out here charge $30 a dog on a thing. And got a whole lawnmower bill out here. Now I said, my minimum is 50. And I said, I said, this year, I said, this year I won't go up again, though. I won't go up with my clients this year. Because I appreciate the one that stuck with me, especially the one that came back. I appreciate them. But if God see it and I make it through this year, and I'm able to survive and prosper. And carry on to the next year, I'm definitely going to my prices next year. I will be. Because I have more experience. So I have to. And things cost more, but every year a lot of equipment go up. The average consumer ain't going to pay attention to a lot of equipment. They don't want to care about how much it costs. You much a, a, do you know how much a good lawnmower these days costs? Commercial lawnmower? To give you the great cuts y'all want? Man, I'm thinking like 10, 15, 20,000. I told my home the other day, they got lawnmower that costs $40,000. One lawnmower. Battery power, forty thousand dollars. Man, listen, stuff ain't cheap. Just like with the economy and everything else going up, y'all don't think the equipment that we use go up? It all goes up, man. Everything go up. Everything has went up. From little Debbie that I love to eat from the little corner stoves to lawn equipment, everything has gone up. Even haircuts. I remember when I was paying twenty dollars for a cut. I paid forty dollars for a haircut. Now, any of y'all old guys like me? That's an 80s baby, or maybe an early 90s baby. Remember when haircuts was $20? No, it's dead now. Haircuts are $40 and above now. And if you know, and if you in New York, I heard it like 75 to 100. Glad I don't live there. But anyway, though, this video was long enough. I just had to come entertain y'all. Besides somebody taking uh, stealing money at my bank account, and this lady, me fired her, and her trying to fire me some kind of way, it was a pretty decent day. Um, I have an aeration job. But I'm about to put it off to next week because the lady has somebody come spray some weeds without telling me. And I can't come behind and spray my weeds. We burnt the grass, kill the grass. So I said, all right, please give it seven days a week. See how see how whatever he sprayed take. And I come behind with my stuff because my stuff is not burnt from Home Depot. I actually order chemicals online that I really concentrate. So I can't come behind him like that. But I want to weed control, do my air raid overseas, and then she will do her own fertilizer and so forth. Boom, that would be what we're going to do. That we're going to do. But anyway, till next time, peace, love. Hope everybody prospered and all that good stuff. It's your boy Curtis from Ready, Say, Go, Long Care. We out you. Love y'all.